Eastern PA Weather 30 Meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for September 26, 2016. For Monday, back to work, we have a high pressure that's off the eastern seaboard now. Uh, and because it's in this position, we're going to have dry, dry conditions uh, for, for much of your Tuesday. We do have a cold front, however, that's going to be moving in from the west. And that's going to be moving through in the overnight hours. So your cold front is situated back here. Uh, area low pressure up here in the Great Lakes is going to get off of our image. But this is going to be moving further east and not ahead of it are these uh, scattered showers. Because of the timing of this coming in late evening and overnight, I don't think we're dealing with any thunderstorms. But we do have uh, these showers coming through. And generally, uh, maybe a couple tenths of an inch of rain. Not not a lot of rain out of this. This is just, uh, we're just talking about maybe, uh, you know, two tenths uh, qu or a quarter inch of rain. Something like that. And it's not, not really a lot of rain. But you can see this moving across later Monday evening. Here's in the overnight hours. You can see the showers moving through, uh, at least for Pennsylvania counties. And then it's going to end very early Tuesday morning. And this is now looking at, uh, this, this is fairly early Tuesday morning. Here's your cold front at this point. So your interior locations are going to be just clouds giving way to sun on Tuesday. You might have early showers up through about mid-morning or so further south and east of this front. And that's going to be, of course, um, continuing off to the south and east. But the areas that I'm concerned about this being hung up a little bit here longer than just mid-morning are for areas south and east of Philadelphia. So anywhere across uh, central and southern New Jersey down to Delaware, we could be hanging along these showers uh, for much of Tuesday, so it could be kind of a dreary day. And one of the reasons that's that's happening is this front, as it's making its way eastward, is running into this high pressure that's now off to the east. So it's slowed it up a little bit, but it's also going to stall this thing. So this front is going to move through and just kind of stall for a couple days and and uh, not really move too far to the east. At the same time, uh, we you know those areas in the interior are going to be partly cloudy. You're going to say what front, you know? So it's going to be partly cloudy up here in the interior, and that's going to be on Tuesday. Uh, further southeast, of course, you have the showers. And then on Wednesday, we start off partly cloudy as well. But uh, because this front moved off to the south and east, it's kind of stalled here. It's just sitting here. And uh, we're expecting to continue to stay, uh, stay, or stay in place there for uh, several days. Now, this is where it gets interesting because there's several waves of low pressure that are trying, the models are trying to develop right along this boundary, which is still sitting here. And you got uh, basically one sitting here. You got another one sitting down here that are going to merge into one. So it looks like this one's going to merge into this one from the from the looks of it. But you see what it's doing uh, because you still have this boundary still here. It's kind of, you have these little areas of low pressure that are going to move along this boundary and bring some rain here, or at least rain chances from later on uh, on Wednesday. Here's uh, Wednesday overnight. And you see that here, one consolidated low, low pressure now over eastern North Carolina. And then you see it's just, it's just a very broad area of low pressure. It's, right around, it's moving right along the boundary here, but it brings these showers here on Thursday as well. Here's a look at Thursday. Here's a look at... Uh, Friday morning and uh, even Saturday, you see this low pressure now sitting over western Pennsylvania. As you get into Saturday, still have some showers as it's finally starting to move eastward. Now, there's, there's a much different uh, representation of how this is going to evolve on, on both the GFS, which I'm showing you right here, and the European model, which wants to keep this thing around or keep that stall boundary in place. And these waves of low pressure are riding along that boundary for almost 10 days. I don't think it's going to be that bad. I don't think it's going to be that bad. So we'll have to wait and see how this is. But the GFS is, of course, more progressive in moving this out this weekend so that maybe you have a few showers around on Saturday, uh, but not on Sunday. So we'll see how this plays out. One thing I will say, this is just like a showery type thing. It's not a heavy rain. It's also not constant. So it's going to be an on and off showers type deal that you're going to have from Wednesday night through at least Saturday. Not that entire time either. So again, just check back with this next couple days. It just has... Uh, the potential for these showers uh, just about at any time, any day. So you'll see in the local forecasts uh, the opportunity for these all, those on and out, on and off showers, and that will be with us at least a threat from Wednesday night through at least Saturday of this week. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for September 26, 2016. Have a great Monday.